now that we've gone into mode four, um, let's try maybe spicing things up, and we'll just drive, jump over to um, the mode that I like, which is number 11. I've some fairly interesting results when I started out earlier. Uh, this one is called Addition with BC Swap. Just the bit crush a little. Yeah. Another variation of the CV modifying going into the voltage control bit modifier. Um, and it doesn't stop there. I mean, right now I'm going into CV1. So I'm getting a fairly uh, constant state waveform going into here. But if I unpatch it, go into CV2, I can actually get a slightly different flavor by adjusting how much of that modulation is actually going to the pitch of the VC. There we go. Maybe bring my bit crush up a little bit. Bring my frequency down a little bit. Bring my level down a little. Now let's actually now try the inverted saw. like a little 8-bit uh, type laugh kind of sound. At least that's what I'm hearing. But you can kind of attach any adjective or visual image that you want to. Yeah, so let's play around with the level a little bit. Feeding this is again a bird song, a signal in, and we're bit crushing that signal, but we're also sending an LFO uh, to tell the 189 1 how much of that is going to be uh, modified there by the bit crush parameter, or how exactly the bit crush parameter is being modulated, I should say. Now, if I want to go one step even further, I can modulate my LFO right here by 
by sending, let's say, a triangle wave out from our LFO and right into the CV of our LFO, and we should get even more interesting type sounds. Here we go. And you should start to see the lights blink a little more erratically. flavor of bit crushing on our CD signal. And you just kind of season the taste, so to speak, until you find something you like there. So that's mode 10. Let's try mode 9. This is uh, Compare and Absolute. Okay. Compare and Absolute right there. So let's try Mode 8. Compare and Complement. Let's 
a bit shift left. Really interesting right there. Bring the level of my modulation down. So I think this should give you a fairly good idea of the type of uh, effects that you can achieve by processing CD using this particular module, the Dofer A189-1. Um, we're going to sort of go out now from this segment. Um, we didn't go too far into all the different waveforms, like we didn't go to each individual waveform, but we did, I think, a nice little so that you could hear what different waveforms are going to do when going into the voltage control code modifier. Right there we're in mode uh, 6, so let's go to mode 5, that's the only one we haven't heard yet, so let's hear that. And I'll leave you with that one. And I'll continue to kind of toy with this as we go on camera. So lots and lots of different possibilities with the for A189 voltage control bit modifier. Definitely an entertain you for hours kind of modulation party over here. So, hope you found this uh, demo useful. And uh, maybe you can take one or two things out of this and uh, use it in your own modulations. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm not really sure which model I'm going to go into next, but uh, hopefully you'll stay tuned and find out what that is, and I will too. So, thanks for watching.